Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. We get questions all the time. How do you do RV trip planning? Today I'm going to show you how easy it is. Well, hi, it's Jerry. We get questions every single week on our ILoveRVLife.com contact page. And we also get a lot of questions on our YouTube channel, I Love RV Life. And uh, people are just wanting to know, how do you do trip planning? Look, I understand. It's, it can be a bit daunting when you first start this process. Joan and I ran into that. We started off as weekenders and then doing two week stays, you know, for vacation. And then as our travel expanded, going out for months uh, at a time and going, look, we just finished 3,000 miles, eight states. We did a lot of planning up front to make sure that every place that we were going to go, we had a place to stop and that we had the sites that we wanted to see along the way. So we've come up with a, a process that I think is super simple. Most of the tools that we use, free, don't cost a dime, with one exception. We do use All Stays Pro, and we have found that just for a, a moderate uh, cost per year, um, that puts all of our campgrounds, everything that we need to be able to do our um, location planning right at our fingertips. And I'm going to show you how we use that as well. So let's head to the computer and I'll show you how we do this. The tools that we're going to be using today for our trip planning, most of them are free. I have one exception, that's All Stays, and I have found that All Stays is an absolutely invaluable tool that we use in our trip planning. I just absolutely love it. And um, I'll be showing you how we use All Stays. There is a non-paid version that you can use from the website. And uh, there is a pro account. And the pro account, I think, is something like about $37 for one year. And I think it's $79 for three years. Uh, we'll go into more of that um, as, as we get closer to it. And I found the pro account to be absolutely invaluable. If you're traveling a lot, uh, I think you'll get your money's worth out of it. So we're going to start here with Google Maps. Uh, Google Maps is on everything. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard to be able to... Um, uh, you know, use something like that. And uh, we're going to start here in middle Georgia. And we are going to go to Las Vegas. Uh, how fun will that be? So we're going to do a trip to Vegas and see many points in between. I'm going to flip that over. Type in Las Vegas. And off we go. Let's see how far that is from middle Georgia to, um, to Las Vegas. So we're seeing it's roughly Roughly 2,000 miles, 2,054 miles. So we use a 330 rule, that's 330 miles, or 330 in the afternoon as a rule of thumb. We found that 330 miles is about all our backsides can handle from sitting on these bumpy roads. Sometimes we go 400 miles, sometimes we'll go a little less than 330. Good rule of thumb. The big issue is try to get to our campground around 330 in the afternoon. So 330 miles, 330 in the afternoon, whichever comes first. That way you get there before it's dark, you have a few minutes to set up, and uh, you know you can grab you a nice meal or do some cooking before you take off the next day. We'll say 2,054 divided by 330, and that's roughly about six days of travel, roughly. So we'll see where we end up with that. All right, so we're gonna leave middle Georgia, and uh, we need to go uh, somewhere along this destination, about 330 miles. Now, we've traveled some of these roads before. We've been to Memphis. We've been to Chattanooga, those types of things. And I think somewhere in this area here is going to be right around the 300 mark. I see Tupelo there. Um, so we're going to put in Tupelo. So there's Tupelo, Mississippi. And we see that Tupelo, Mississippi is roughly about 364 miles. That, that works for us. I don't think that's going to be too bad. So now that we get to Tupelo, we're going to have to spend the night. So let's see what we can find. I'm going to go into All Stays now. This is the All Stays Pro account. You're going to get a few extra features um, with the Pro account that you're not going to get with the free. Just mainly ease of use and um, just being able to click on some things to, um, to you know, find your campsite and do those types of things. I like using uh, just camping by text, but I will be showing you something else here in just a second. So here is um, 
state maps, we're going to be going into Mississippi. We're going to be looking for Tupelo. And we'll go down here. Here's Tupelo. And they're now going to give me a list of maps. First one here. I'm looking. These are your star ratings. You can see there's several here with very high star ratings. This works. Let's just go ahead and start there at the beginning. And uh, I can see that uh, this campground at Barnes Crossing uh, has the things that we need. 54 sites, open all year, RVs only, 65 foot max that fits us quite well. Um, and they've got you know full hookups there. That works out great. So um, I can go here to their website now and that will open up another window. And I can look at their rates and I can see what their rates are. That's reasonable. Okay. The website, clicking on that and gaining access to the website uh, without having to go out and search for it is, is a pro feature. Then you have reviews here as well. So we can look at the reviews they've had and we can look and see exactly what they have here. Here's one from uh, September of last year. It's a five star rating and I can read what they have for that one. Here's one from uh, June of last year another five-star rating and that looks really good. And so I can go down through here and just look at some of these. You know, I typically look at what's happened in the last six to nine months. Um, you know, and I can see these are folks that's been traveling some distance here, another five-star or four-star. Uh, they didn't like uh, the gravel uh, going in. That's okay. I said it was a pretty campground. These folks stayed a full week here, gave it a four-star rating. Um, and uh, these folks gave it a five-star rating with a 40-foot fifth wheel and a long bed F350. Guess what? <laughs> that's exactly what John and I have. So um, that's exactly the types of things that I want to be able to find. So we're going to go ahead and consider using this. Here's a phone number. I will then call these folks, um, set up my reservation, and get my information Let's talk about the next step. You see that that just took minutes, literally minutes, to be able to lay out our point A to point B, our total distance from one location to the other, and then how we break this up into segments. Then we start doing our route planning as far as where we want to be able to stay when we get to a specific destination, and how we use all stays to be able to do that. Now, our next step, we're going to carry that over into Google Calendar. That's our itinerary manager. Let me show you how we do that. If you'll notice, here's my GPS. And I could also put in the address. I typically use GPS. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go up here to my map now. And I am going to put in my GPS readings. And bang. Give it just a second. And it's pulled up that road and I now have my route that I am going to be using for this trip. What can you do with this? This is where this absolutely becomes awesome. I now am going to go up here and click these three bars and I'm going to share or embed my map. I'm interested in sharing it. If you'll notice there's a link to this map I just laid out. I'm going to copy this link so for planning purposes, we are going to start uh, August of this year. And I am going to create uh, an event. So I see this has already started for August the 1st. Our first stop will be Tupelo. And I'm just going to use this as um, all day. And I'm going to go here for more options. I'm not going to put, uh, I'm going to do an all day reservation here just so, show, so that it shows up. The other thing I'm going to do, if you notice I use colors here. So if I've made reservations, I am green to go and I will click it there. If I don't have reservations, I will say I have the trip plan, but I've got to call these folks back. I'll set it up in red and I'll show you how these colors work. Just, just something to make it, make it handy. Um, I will go here. And um, the first thing that I will do is I've copied my link. I'm going to go down here in my description and I'm going to put directions. And I'm going to copy that link. 
I am also going to go uh, back to my All Stays app and I'm going to get this information right here. And I am going to put that in the calendar as well, just so that I'll have it. I'm also going to take this GPS reading. And if you'll notice, um, there's at a location. And I will put that in here as well. If there's a phone number on the site, I will put that as well. So I see that there's a phone number that's included as well. I will take that and put that in the map as well. That'll be for us to use, just in case um, you know, we're going to be delayed or something like that. We'll have it. And the other item is if I've called them, I'm going to put my reservation number here as well that uh, they may have given me. And uh, now I will save that. So now I have my first destination. I'm going to show you more about how I use this on our, our phone or our tablet um, as, as we continue on. We finished our first segment. Now I'm going to show you one more segment into our travel. Using All Stays, there's a, the quick and easy way to be able to find from a text perspective campgrounds, but sometimes you go into an area and you might get out of the city limits a little bit, but there might be a campground nearby that you want to stay at and there's a map feature that I want to show you that is absolutely invaluable. So let's look at the second stop on our trip. So I'm back on the Google Maps destination and let's just do this one more time. I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way to look at your campgrounds. Um, especially if you get into an area where there's just not a lot of um, options uh, and it sometimes all stays uh, shows those a little bit different as well. So I'm looking here about the distance. I think we're going to shoot for somewhere up in this area. We're going to give Fort Smith a try. So I'm going to flip my address here and I'm going to put in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And I'm going to see what the distance is here. Okay, we're seeing it's about 397 miles. Again, that's right around the 330 mark that we shoot for. 5 hours, 42 minutes. One of the things that I will suggest here about this time, uh, this is based on the highway mileage. So if it's uh, 70 miles an hour, that's what that's based on. And we're going to be doing about 65. And we're also going to probably stop somewhere about halfway, somewhere around in this area. And we'll pull over and do a leg stretch and uh, fix us a sandwich. Uh, you know, just take us a bit of a rest before we continue up the road. I'm just not going to sit in the truck for six solid hours. And um, so, so think about that. So we're looking at about six hours and 15 minutes. So we'll, to make that 3.30 rule, we'll have to leave early in the morning. So Fort Smith looks like a place that we may want to consider. I'm going to go back to my All Stays website, my pro website. And I'm going to go back here and look at uh, just camping by text again. Put in Fort Smith. So here we are, Fort Smith. I'm looking at this and going, oh, okay. There's a couple here. This one looks nice. Uh, nice rating. Oops, this one's not going to work for me. It's military use only. Can't use that one. It's kind of limited, so let me give you another view that you can use here with your uh, All Stays Pro app. And uh, I'm going to go this time and use, there's so many different views that you can look at. And uh, I'm going to use, I like this older version of, of the way the map works here. I really like it a lot. And I'm going to turn off a couple things that I don't need here as far as, you can see your camping sites and fuel stops and stores and all kinds of things here. I'm going to put in Arkansas again. And I'm going to look up here in this Fort Smith area and I'm going to start expanding this. You cannot do this with the free version. This is a paid version only so I do want to give you a heads up on that. So uh, we're going to be coming in on 40. Let's see what, kind of, what, what this looks like as we start coming into town here. Forgive my very responsive mouse. And I'm going to see, just coming right into the edge, we probably want to stay on the outside. One right here. 
a crab tree and uh, that one doesn't look very expensive and let's uh, let's see what the reviews look like for this one good place to stop overnight uh, this is from back in the middle of the year lots of places to eat around there so that's an option and so this might be an option here that we're looking at and um, that's got my information let's go to the um, let's go to the website there's the website and it looks like this is uh, affiliated with Crabtree RV Center and uh, just for a night camping 50 amp $29 or if you're a good SAM member it's 27 that's perfect right off the interstate there's the map so this is a, I think this is a spot that we'll probably shoot for here and just like the exercise that we did before uh, I'm gonna go here and uh, I'm gonna put my latitude and longitude I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna go here to my map and I'm now going to put that in there. I'm going to do a search on it and bang, it brings right up where we're going to be going. The mileage changed just a few bit, if you know, just a little bit if you notice here. And we'll go back here and we're going to share it and we're going to copy our link. We're going to go to our calendar. I'm going to click on this guy here and do another one. Well, this is going to be for Fort Smith, Arkansas, and I'm going to go here for more options. I'm going to make this an all day. You know the drill. We've done this before. Go down here and I'm going to put in my directions. And then let's see what we can get off the website here as far as location. Oh, this is the thing I like about this too. They can give you some detail, detail information here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste all this as well. This gives me physical directions as well as street address and phone number. I'll go ahead and put that in the calendar as well. Now I have all that at my fingertips. Put my phone number down here. And since I called and made a reservation, I will come down here and I'll put in my reservation number. And we are ready to go. Oh, unless since we made the reservation, we will change this to green. And boom, there we go. So now I will continue this as uh, we go back and look at our map. And I will do this for every stop as I plan along the way. I will then estimate again my next direction, probably, probably Little Rock to Arma Amarillo, Amarillo to Albuquerque, um, probably go over here to Flagstaff, there's Flagstaff uh, from Amarillo, and then Flagstaff into Vegas, something like that is, is the way this trip will end up being. And then I will go to my calendar and I will lay out each one of those stops, and probably somewhere along the way, just so that we're just not pushing day after day after day. I'll probably stay four or five days and just take in some of the sites and one of the locations. We'll see what might be uh, in an area. How do we do that? Well, we'll just go up here and we'll do, let's do something like this. Uh, TripAdvisor. And uh, what if we did, um, let's just look at uh, Albuquerque, uh, New Mexico. And let's just see what's the, maybe the top 10 things to do uh, when you're there. How about the 15 things to do while you're in Albuquerque? You know, so we might stay there four or five days and uh, go to the spaceship house and I don't know, just check out some of these things that might be in the area. Um, there's a few things here to visit that might be interesting. A nice place to hike to the Volcano Park. and um, So, you know, that might be something that we want to be able to do. A telephone museum of New Mexico. Being an old telephone guy, that might be kind of a, kind of fun. 
So anyway, that's something that we might consider. So, you know, if we're going to stay for four or five days somewhere, we'll lay that out and then we'll just continue our trip on until we get to Vegas. And then we're going to flip it around backwards and we're going to do it again. So that'll make it really fun. Wasn't that easy? It's really, really simple. All these tools are at your fingertips. What I really like is the portability. Let me show you now that we have everything planned and laid out, at least for the first two segments, I'm going to show you how we use our tablet or a phone as we start our trip. Here's my phone. This works with an Android. It works with a iPhone. It works with tablets. It's just invaluable. Or if you've got a set up to where you use a laptop, in your vehicle, it works that way as well. So I'm gonna tap here on my Google Calendar. I've already got it set here for August. And you see August the 1st in Tupelo, Mississippi, August the 2nd, what happened? I am moving, I am sharing my calendar in the cloud on my all my devices, my phones, my laptop, my desktop, wherever it goes. You just log in with your Google account and off you go. And it copies it over there. Everything is just, um, transparent from one location to the next. Here's where it re really becomes powerful. I click on Tupelo, Mississippi. This first one here, you see all the information that I cut and pasted in there, my directions, my telephone numbers, my reservation number. It's absolutely incredible. And then if you notice the directions, there's that Google map link. And I can now tap that, give it a chance to come up. There it is. The only thing that you'll need to do is if you're not sitting in the exact location is tap that and uh, put your uh, address where you're currently sitting at or the easiest thing to do is just tap your location and when you tap in your location from your starting point boom it will calculate your trip and you're ready to go invaluable. I hope you found this video helpful and easy RV trip planning. Uh, this is something that Joan and I have been doing. It's evolved over the last four or five years and we really have it down to a, just a very simple formula. Most of the tools are free and expensive purchase of Allstate Pro and it just makes everything a breeze. Now that we have everything laid out, then uh, we have that comfort that we know that we can go from point A to point B. We know that the travel times are going to be reasonable and we know we're going to have a place to put our camper for a day, a week, a month, whatever we're planning for that period of time. And then by using the calendar, everything in our itinerary is at our fingertips as well as we can share that with loved ones as well in case they can't get in contact with us on a cell phone. They have emergency contact information at the campgrounds that they can call and get in touch with us and they know where we're at you know, by day or by week. And I think they find comfort in, in that as well. So it's, it's really very, very helpful. And then by taking those segments that we broke this down into, and we've got our route for our GPS, we use a Samsung eight inch tablet. And I'll put a video here at the top so you can see how we use that as well. It's just, it's so nice to be able to use this Android tablet. It has a built-in chip and it's just super, super easy to be able to just click the map be able to pull up our uh, route and then off we go as we head down the road for that. And then Google Maps has really improved over the last year. It gives a lot of traffic information if you're using an internet connection. We find that very, very helpful. Speed limits are posted. It even shows you how fast you're driving. And you can just kind of glimpse to the corner of your eye, you know, with your peripheral vision and see where you're going. And I just find that just so, so helpful. So I'll put that link up there and, and I hope you will find that video helpful as well. Well, we love RV trip planning. We really love the destinations that we go to. And yeah, we love RV life too. Mm -hmm.